Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing us how to attach the us air braid to your peplon. The first thing I'm going to do is just to prep my peplon. I'm working with a 720 degree peplon. So what I'm going to be doing is to sew those two circles together and I'll do likewise for the lining. After I've done that, I'm going to take the main fabric and I'm going to attach fusible interface into it just to give it some structure. There are different types, sizes and color of the us air braid. Over here, I just have two different types. The one I'm going to be using is the um, three inches wide us air braid. The other tiny one is just about half an inch. You also have some that are like two inches wide. You have the one inch wide. You have them in different colors. So, but today I'll just work with the three inch wide us air braid. Your choice of us air braid will depend on the project you're working on and what effect you're hoping to have. There are some us air braid that are lighter than others. Some are more stiff. So in this project, I'm going to be using the stiff one. What we're going to do next is after we have joined the sides, we're going to start to add the crinoline. But first, you're going to put your lining. And what you're going to do is you're going to do right side to right side. If you were using fabric for both sides, you just want to make sure that the side that have the fusible interfacing is the one that you lay down first. And then the one without the fusible interfaces, you place it on it. But you want to make sure it's always right side to right side. So what you're going to do next now is you're going to place your lining right on top of it like that. You can either pin this in place first, if that works better for you. Or if you like, you can go ahead and you can just stitch this just a tiny bit at the edge all across. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to now start to use the us air braid on my fabric and for us air braid if you stretch it like i'm doing you will see that it stretches so when you're sewing you want to be very careful the purpose where we're using this or why you will use your us air braid most times is because you want to have a wavy edge you want the edge to be more wavy and to stand firm in the waves so that is what this is going to help you achieve so as you go over to your sewing machine you want to make sure when you start sewing you don't pull this don't pull your us air braid just leave it the way it is and just gently manipulate it and sew it all across one other thing i would like to explain there are two ways you can do this you can align this at the edge like that and then you just sew it all across. You can turn it such that the middle part here, when you sew it where you sew seam allowances, you can turn it such as when you turn it, you're turning it this way, so that your off air braid is just right here, like that. Right here at the edge. You can turn it that way. You can turn it another way, such that by the time you turn it, you're going to have some part of your fabric on the other side something like this so you have a little bit of your fabric on the other side as well that's another way you can turn this another way is, is you will leave some space at the edge of your M depending on how much seam allowance you left if you were going to use like one inch seam allowance what you want to do is you leave like half an inch over here and so by the time you start sewing you start sewing by half an inch like so if you're using half an inch total seam allowance then you want to divide that into two so when you're sewing it you want to place your us air such that you have your quarter 0.25 you have that quarter left over here and then you start to sew by a quarter all across like that so that will give you a total of 0.5 which is what you intended to do originally i've explained where you can do it direct like this 
and then when you turn it you have the edge of your off air right at the middle when you turn it and the third option is you can just place this direct like this and you just sew it across just sew this all across like that and then by the time you're done you will now flip it and I think I'll do this option so that you see what I'm talking about. You will now flip this like so. You flip it such that your off air braid air is going to be pushing against your fabric as I'm showing you right now. However, you will have excess lining at the top. And you can go ahead and trim that off. So I've given us three different ways we can do this. I'll show you the last one. So I'm doing right side to right side. I'm going to pin this. Now once this is done, I'm going to go ahead with my horse head braid. I'm going to put it at the very edge. Like I have it right here. I'll put it at the edge. And I'm going to start sewing all across. Remember not to stretch your us air braid when you start sewing. So now we're just going to turn this inside out. What I was explaining the other time is that if you wanted to do it this way, but you want to fold it such that your fabric and your lining are on the same point, you open up the seam this way. The lining and the us air braid is on one side then the fabric with the fusible interfacing is on the other side and then you just go to your sewing machine and you start to sew your lining at the very edge you sew it down so what this is doing is is sewing your us air braid and the lining is separating it from the main fabric and is just making it such that this Will be sewn down and it will make the us air braid to lay flat so when you do that then you can turn it such that your seam allowance is right there in the middle that is your lining and this is your fabric that is the one way i said you could do it the other way i said you could leave some space here when you were joining it which we didn't do so what i wanted to do here is the third method that i explained and so first I'm going to turn this right side out. So this other method is where you want some part of your fabric showing at the back, just before the lining. So what we're going to do in this case is you're going to just make sure that the edge of your us line pushes against that fabric as firm as you can. You can smoothen that out you can hold it in place with a pin and then you go ahead and you iron it all across but what this is going to do is you're going to have an extra here for your lining so in this case you just go ahead and you will just cut off the extra that's after you have ironed this all across you just come and you cut the extra so this is very very simple and straightforward if this is your first time doing this if you are going to be doing this method one thing you can do is to already factor that in and to remove that one inch from your lining lining when you were cutting it because we did half an inch seam allowance by the time we turn this we're going to have the half inch seam allowance inside plus this other half inch right here that gives you one inch so what you can do is when you're cutting your lining you can cut your lining to be one inch shorter than your fabric or otherwise you just cut it the same way and you clip off the excess and here is the final product thank you so much for watching till the end please if you haven't subscribed yet remember to do so and also turn on post notification and please also share our videos and don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up Thank you. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye. I do hope this video has been very helpful to you. Please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to this channel 
and click the bell for notifications. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.